Steve Mills arrived with the New York Knicks in 2003. Mm -hmm. Ever since that moment in time, the New York Knicks have won 38.8% of their games, something like 522 and 825 record. It's a 38.8% winning percentage. It's the second worst in the entire NBA over the last 17 years, only to the Timberwolves. Since Steve Mills had returned in 2013, after a few years hiatus, they've been even worse. And so folks were like, excuse me, the combination of those two do not work because Steve Mills has Dolan's ear, and the bottom line is, Dolan ain't going to fire himself. So if Steve Mills isn't gone, no matter what you do, it ain't going to change anything. Lo and behold, after being told this approximately 10 days ago, the next thing you know, 10 days later, Steve Mills is gone. Make of it what you will. Masai Ujiri, obviously, is a candidate James Dolan would love. There are people that are interested in the job. Kenny Smith for TNT, mm. is very interested and should be. A matter of fact, that's my man. I haven't spoken to him yet. I'm going to make sure to call him and tell him he should pursue the damn job and tell Dolan he should talk to J Kenny Smith. Here's why, Max, in my closing. I'll tell you why. I have said this before, and I'll say it again a thousand times. You're going to hear Lynn, Lynn Merritt for uh, Nike as well, very well connected mm -hmm. to LeBron, was connected to Kobe and everything. I mean, he's got player relationships. You're going to hear his name coming out. You know, he's associated with World Wide <gasps> West and all Rich of those Paul. boys. Rich Paul's name has come up, but I don't think that mm -hmm. that's something that would ever happen. But Rich Paul, I, Rich Paul knows some basketball, so let's be clear. I mean, he's mm -hmm. done, doing a great job as an agent, along with the Goodwins and Duffy and all of those guys. But here's the deal. This is the important point. I, I want to go on national television and promote Kenny Smith for president of basketball operations and Mark Jackson as the next head coach because this is what I keep trying to say to everybody, Max. The New York Knicks, more than anything, need a voice and a face for the franchise that New Yorkers will want to listen to to get you to not think about Dolan. That's what New Yorkers need. Kenny Smith's from Queens, New York. Mark Jackson's from Queens, New York. You need somebody that New Yorkers yeah. will give some chances to. Floor Everyone sees what you're doing with the Queens thing, by the, the way. Queens, Queens, Queens in the building. You're not Queens slick. in the building. I mean, I, I mean it. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? But it ain't because they're from Queens, but it don't hurt. Queens is in the building. Hollis in the house. You know what time it is. Yeah, the bridge's not over. It never started right. in New That's York. Right. I mean, you know. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, listen. Yeah. Unless um, they wanted me to be president, and I, could, no, I can't consider it now. I don't Maybe I would. Let me just say, it was <laughs> widely reported uh, a couple months ago yeah. that people believe they found Jim Dolan's burner account on Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, it's never been proven, but I'd like to read from that account oh, Lord. a little bit. It's not the owner's fault the team is expletive. It's that expletive GM Mills. Knicks fans are really stupid sometimes. This is from December. That is the handiwork of GM Mills, incompetency at its finest. So people reading that burner account assumed Mills is fired. That was the assumption months ago. But you got to really see some of the stuff that, like, it's really actually hilarious. And again, no one knows this if, if this is Dolan, but a lot of folks seem to think so. Um, if there's one person who could pull a rabbit out of his hat, it's Dolan, writes the account. You literally have one example of him doing that, writes a fan. Look at his entire life. The man is successful beyond belief. He's what everyone strives to be, says the account. Um, they're like, hey, Dolan, it took all of a day to figure out you're the one behind this ludicrous burner. Okay. Stop replying to this account, he writes. Unfollow this account. And people start writing stuff like, it's okay, I removed you from the link. You can still see it, but no one else can. It's really hilarious uh, whether or not it's Dolan. It's, it's worth taking a look at. Uh, the account goes at Ramona Shelburne, who, he, who the account says should be fired for this slandered bias, not biased, bias journalism. <laughs> Never was a fan of her. Um, Dolan has been an embarrassment to New York for decades now. He's an embarrassment. His idea to get Masai Ujiri is a great one. Yeah. Go do that. He's under contract, though. Yeah. Understood. Under contract. That can be arranged. You can throw enough money at something, and you can buy out a contract. Here's the thing. Even Masai Ujiri, who's an excellent head of basketball operations, is not going to be able to do his thing if Dolan interferes. 
By the way, you and I will disagree on this. If Daryl Morey becomes available, which I suspect will happen soon, because not only of the China situation, which I'm sure Fertitta would like to distance himself from for business purposes, but or I suspect, but also because, as you said, there's pressure to win now. I don't think they're going to win the whole thing this year. He might be available. Morey would be a great GM. The, the, the guys with the track records, hey, we build powerhouses. Whether or not they win championships, you're not a laughing stock anymore. You're in the playoffs. You're making playoff runs. Unless they get it in the contract that Doling won't interfere with their job, it's impossible. And even if they do, he'll back channel through the press if, if, um, if you know, history is any indication. It is a dysfunctional franchise because they have a laughing stock owner. Firing Mills does nothing. But what do you think about what Stephen A. said, that notion that you get a face so it dissipates the focus on James Dolan with a guy like Kenny Smith and then Knicks fans, New Yorkers, forget. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would love it if Kenny Smith were a great GM. I just don't have any evidence. That's rolling the dice. It would be amazing but if I he like is. I'd root for it. From, but I don't think. From a brand perspective. Let me explain. For, but it's let not me, winning let me, games. Let me, let me explain. First of all, understand something. There's nowhere to go but up. Yeah. It's that bad. There's nowhere to go but up. So you're playing with house money. That's number one. Number two. It's true. It, number two. Because Dolan cares so much about PR, because the boo serenading from the rafters of Madison Square Garden on down, sell the team, sell the team, sell the team. And what a profound embarrassment that was to him. And if you look at every reaction, Oakley, if you look at the fan that he had removed from Madison Square Garden, if you look at everything that's associated with the Knicks' demise over the years as it pertains directly to the name Dolan, it is usually a PR issue. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.